Welcome to Weebly.com, which is a website creator, a very good website creator. And it builds itself as the easiest way to create a website, which is pretty much true. Uh, website creating has come a long way, and you can build a really good professional site in Weebly, and it lets you add student accounts and lots of other good stuff. What I'm going to do in this video on how to get started is just to kind of show you how to register for an account, how to get in there and create some students, and how to manage some of their sites and some of the accounts that you create. All right, so from this base Weebly.com uh, website, you're going to go to Education. When you get here, you're just going to put in a user word, a password, an email address to send you a notification. I've already done that, and I just want to show you a flip over here real quick. Uh, they give you a, an email, they send you an email with your information once you sign up. So you just go ahead and sign up. I'm going to go ahead and log in. My username is Teacher Tech Vids. Put in my password. Alright, when you first start using Weebly, it's going to ask you for some base information. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in real quick. This is JN Freeze Middle. And I'm not going to put that. I'll just go ahead and put United States here. And I'm in the great state of North Carolina. And here you can kind of watch a demo, set up a class, create a website. I'm going to click X because I want to show you how to get started with that yourself. But you can do all those things if you want. All right, uh, first thing I want to do is I want to show you how to um, get into your students. So I'm going to click on My Students. As you can see, there's no student accounts here yet. Uh, so the first thing you've got to do is you've got to add a class. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call this one First Period. You can put a grade level on it if you want. You can send it to public or private student sites. I always keep mine public because I like my students' parents to see them. Click on Create a Class. Oops, forgot a grade. Just go ahead and put sixth graders. Takes you right to the adding a student page. Now here you can add the students one at a time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that um, how to do that, and then this multiple students. I'll show you that after I get my first one in. So get your first student in there, and we'll get Billy Bob in there. It automatically gives them a username. You can change that if you have your own usernames that you use for school. You can keep them the same as your school usernames and it'll tell you if it's available or not and you can do the same with the passwords so if you want to use the same passwords you can I'm just gonna put Knights as my password and that's student so there's my first student account you can also uh, once you got those student accounts you can manage them so if I click on the actual name it'll give me his username, his password, the name, first name, last name you can change anything in here if you want um, as you can see from your student accounts, I've created one, and you can have up to 40. So that's really a good enough size to do a class. Now that's with the free version of Weebly, so you can have 40 student accounts for free. Um, you can enable more, but you'd have to in, uh, upgrade to Weebly Pro, and it gives you some information here. You can get a 10 account pack, so for every 10 accounts you can pay $10 per year to get your accounts. It's not a terrible deal. Um, because you get to use them all year long and that way every, every kid gets to use them if you have more than 40 kids. Or, of course, a sneaky way to do it is to set up a couple different accounts. Um, an account per class period, you could do that. Alright, I do want to show you this button right here, which is the class settings. You click on that. It gives you what you set up initially. And also, one thing I do want to make sure I show you is the student blog comments you can publish them immediately or hold for moderation I usually hold them for moderation that's up to you Flickr search, let students search Flickr images, I usually turn that off we have our own little searching for our images again that's a personal preference um, but that's how you change those class settings, those are our important if you, can add, if you want to add a different class, let's say you've got a couple different classes in here you can do that. You can set up groups this way. If you wanted to have one class but several groups, you could do it that way. Um, you can set up reading groups in here. You can do it however you want, as long as you use those 40 student accounts and you don't go over. All right, so that is most of the um, most of the introductory stuff as far as getting the account set up. The other thing I do want to make sure I show you before I close out here is one thing that's really cool about Weebly is you get this link here that you can print the student list. If I click on that link, it does a wonderful thing. Um, it selects the printer, but I'm just going to hit cancel so you can see what it does. 
it will do this for each of your usernames. So, uh, if you've got 40 kids, it's going to give you a printable list of all the kids, and it's already got where you can cut them. So you print this list out, you cut them apart, and then you hand them out to kids, and it's just that simple. They've got the username, they've got their password right there, they've got the uh, site to log into, and they can go from there. And lastly, I keep saying lastly, but the very last thing is I want to show you where the kids log in at. So if I click on students.weebly.com, that is where kids will actually log into with their username and password. You see it's a very clean interface, very easy for them to use. All right, so we've gotten started here. We've got our account set up. We've got some kids put in here. And I want to, in the next, in the next uh, video, the basics, I'm going to actually show you how to add a site, how to start editing a site. It's really simple, point and click, and it'll be great for your kids. So I'll see you in the next video.